Hey guys, it's Greg at Vanguard Motor Sales. Man, I got a cool one for you today. This baby's a showstopper, award winner. She is an Art Morrison frame with a 55 Chev stuck on the top, and then there's a 502 with a big 871 blower sitting on top. Let's take a nice close look. Look at this beautiful car, man. I tell you what, the workmanship on this thing is out of this world. And of course, like I said earlier, Art Morrison frame, so she drives phenomenal. Then it's got that big old BDS blower sitting on top of that 502 that's been stroked out the 509, baby. As you look down the side, the paint and body on it is slick as can be. That silver paint's got some nice metallic in it. I mean, she is just amazing absolutely love it. And of course all of you know I love black interior. Now this thing's got door poppers on it and I, those are actually inside the car so I'm going to actually open up just reach through the window here. We got tilt wheel, we got custom gauges, we got a low car shifter. I mean everything about this thing is just cool as can be. You know and what's real cool about the interior is they didn't get too silly with the design. A lot of times these guys try to go too far. It just got really nice neat comfortable interior in it. Just looking absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, man, they did everything to this car. She is absolutely gorgeous. That black paint, I mean, it looks like a black mirror on there. Then all the stainless, the bumpers have been tucked in there looking sweet. Look at this beautiful car, man. I tell you what, the boot, I love the boot on the convertible top. Now we're gonna take pictures of the car and you'll be able to check that out on our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. You're gonna be able to see all the pictures with the boot or with the top up, the top down. And it is a power top, goes up and down by itself. You don't have to worry about that. Man, I just love it. Then this silver, oh man, the accents on this car, absolutely gorgeous and she will go. We're gonna get it out and drive it. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on this 55 Chevy. Let's take the 55 for a ride, baby. Blower power. Big block, 871. Sounding amazing, looking amazing, I tell you. And driving amazing. That Art Morrison chassis, look at that. No hands, Bob. Got beautiful sunshiny day. Got the top down. Got our 502 that's been bored out the 509. Don't forget that. Big old 871 sitting on top. Fuel injected. I mean, this thing checks all the boxes. Take this baby anywhere. Take it to the drag strip. Take this baby to the car show. I mean, this thing wins all around. This guy in the Chevy pickup truck's got to check us out. I'll tell you what. Then just whack that accelerator. <laughs> you want to talk about fun? Man, I mean, I just barely touched the accelerator on this beast. She is a monster, baby. Now, we can deliver it anywhere in the world, so you just give Tom a call anytime you'd like. Look how nice and easy it goes around that corner. Man, this thing's sweet. Now, I see down here on the dash, everything looking sweet on the dash. I mean, those gauges look like they belong there. I mean, all that polished aluminum, and then look at the bezel they built for the tack. I mean, it looks like it belongs there, like 1955, baby. Brakes feel good, look at that. Stopping nice and straight. I tell you what, this is one of my all-time favorite cars. And of course, you know I like horsepower. <laughs> oh man, guys, if you could only see how far I moved the accelerator, 
I mean, I've just put some pressure on the accelerator. I didn't even come close to flooring this thing. I'll tell you what. We'd love to have you come check it out in person or send an inspector. Just call us, let us know you're coming. Now we're gonna take it back to the shop. We're gonna put it up on the lift so you can see how beautiful the bottom side is. Wait till you see this thing, it is amazing. So stick with us, we're going up in the air with it right now. All right, we're underneath this 55 now and man, is it pretty under here. Look at this beautiful car. First of all, you can see the license plate uh, folds down automatically, which is cool. The uh, fuel pump is mounted back here to the back side of this Art Morrison frame. And look at this fuel tank. This fuel tank looks like a jewel, man. And they got the feed coming right out of the bottom. And then look at the exhaust system. I mean, it is tucked up in there looking beautiful. It's all been jet coated. And you see these flanges. So if you ever have to take it out of there, you've got a real nice flange, real easy to unbolt. Um, we've got a Ford 9 inch in here. It's a triangula uh, triangulated, say that three times fast, um, suspension set up there. Coilovers holding it up. Adjustable also. Willwood brakes. Uh, they are obviously uh, disc brakes, drilled and slotted rotors. Everything under here is painted up nice. I mean, look at the workmanship on these MagnaFlow mufflers. Of course, they've been all jet coated looking good. Of course, Art Morrison makes these nice holes in the cross members so you can get the exhaust tucked up in nice and tight. Look at all the workmanship on this thing, just looking beautiful. And then the drive shaft loops, unbelievable. Everything looking sweet. Drive shaft couldn't get out of there if it tried, man. It is beautiful under here. Of course, all the body mounts are looking sweet. Again, uh, slip joint here for the exhaust, so if you ever have to take it apart, which is cool. And look at this crossover here. Look how they did that. It comes back and around the backside of this Turbo 400 Trans. Um, now, that's a three-speed automatic for those of you who don't know that off the top of your head. We got jet-coated headers. We got the O2 sensor right here mounted up high, which is nice. Um, of course, this whole Art Morrison frame just looking sweet. We got coilovers holding up the front. We got big disc brakes up front here also. We got uh, rack and pinion steering. We got a big sway bar. I mean, everything under this thing. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to invest in some mirrors when you go to a car show because you're going to want to show off the bottom side of this car. She's looking absolutely gorgeous. Of course, the chrome on the front bumper looks brand new. I mean, it is just beautiful. The horns are mounted down here. We got dual horns. They're hidden there underneath the bumper, which is cool. Uh, we got a great looking set of wheels and tires on here. These are Budniks. You can see those big old uh, Willwood brakes. There's six piston up front. Uh, the wheel wells are all painted up real nice. These are Continentals, uh, Sport Pluses. Let's see if we're going to find the size. There it is. 245, 40, 18s on the tires. Now, when you're looking at any Bel Air, these body mounts are something you got to look at. These frame stiffeners, or not frame, but floor stiffeners, you can see that this has all been replaced and it's all, um, all cocked in, looking nice with body, um, with that seam sealer. This back one is a real important one to look at. Then out back here, we got some deep dish Budnick wheels, looking sweet. Again, Continental tires. These are 325-30-19s. I mean, did you hear what I said? 325s. Those are like what they put on the back of a Viper, baby. And this thing has got, it actually probably outrun a Viper, but we'll take a look at that here in a minute. We're going to lower it down right now. Look at this, baby. How many 55 Chev convertibles you ever seen with an 871 blower sitting on top of a 502? Now, this 502 has been bored a little bit to 509 cubic inches. You can see it is just looking like a jewel under there. Of course, fuel injection also. Um, you can see your injector lines right here, and the injectors are right here. So you got uh, four on each side there. You can see everything polished up, looking good. That Willwood master cylinder. You see we've got a proportioning valve here for the rear brakes. You see the alternator's all polished up. It's got a serpentine belt set up on it. The uh, intake there underneath the blower's polished. Obviously, you see that uh, BDS blower's all polished up, looking good. Valve cover's all polished up. I like how they did the breathers here, the moon breathers. Got four of them there, two on each valve cover. Um, the firewall is all nice and beautiful. You see they I built a little indentation there so they could scoot the motor back a little bit. Right down there is the tag that says Art Morrison. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it with the camera or not, but this is Art Morrison right there. It's got the um, ID number on it. I mean, the inner wheelhouses are all painted up nice. 
Uh, we've got uh, the power steering reservoirs right here. Uh, real nice uh, setup here on the radiator and the condenser for the air conditioner. I mean, just everything about the car is just amazing. I mean, the amount of, I don't know the exact horsepower, but it's size big, baby. This thing will blow those big old uh, 325s off this car. Plenty of horsepower for a convertible here. She's just looking absolutely beautiful. Make sure you build yourself some shelves in your garage because you're gonna need them because you're gonna get a lot of ribbons, a lot of trophies. You're gonna get a lot of eyeball too. So I hope you're the type that likes to talk to people because people are gonna wanna talk to you about this car. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales Park this dream in your driveway.